Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa participated in a tripartite summit with His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan and the President of Egypt Abdel Fattah al Sisi, which was held in Sharm el Sheikh. The summit discussed the aspects of the close brotherly relations and constructive bilateral cooperation and joint coordination towards various issues of common concern, in addition to the latest developments on the regional and international levels, as well as the challenges facing the region. The three leaders affirmed the depth of brotherly and strategic relations between the three countries and the importance of enhancing and developing them to achieve joint goals and aspirations. They welcomed the anticipated summit which will be hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia between the leaders of the GCC, Jordan, Egypt and the Prime Minister of Iraq with the US President Joe Biden. The leaders affirmed the importance of continuing coordination and consultation on all current issues and developments to enhance efforts to protect Arab national security and serve joint Arab action Arab interests and the people of the region. They also affirm the support for all efforts aimed at fighting terrorism and maintaining security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 30 of year 2022 promulgating the issuance of a guide regu regulating public-private partnerships. Article 1, the provisions of the guide regulating public-private partnerships accompanying this edict shall be enforced. Article 2, the Minister of Finance and National Economy shall issue the edicts, instructions and guidelines necessary for the implementation of the provisions of this edict, including the technical and financial provisions and procedures to be taken into account by the administrative authorities while designing partnership projects or implementing them through partnerships. The Ministry of Finance and National Economy shall be responsible for verifying the compliance with the provisions of the guide accompanying this edict and the edicts, instructions and guidelines issued here after in accordance with its provisions. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the sixth edition of the Prime Minister's Award for Journalism held under his patronage. At the ceremony, His Royal Highness the Deputy King highlighted the national press's prominent role in enhancing the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of promoting free, accurate and responsible journalism that supports progress and development by raising awareness of national issues and development projects. Awards were then presented to the following media professionals. Best Column Award, Yasmin Khalaf, Al Bilad Newspaper. Best Investigative Journalism Award, Alawi Al Sayed Annan Al Musawi, Al Bilad Newspaper. Best Interview Award, Sara Najib and Hussein Sept, Al Ayam Newspaper. Best Photography Award, Abdul Amir Al Salatna, Akhbar Al Khalij Newspaper. His Royal Highness congratulated the award winners, wishing them success in delivering reliable, compelling journalism that promotes social and economic advancement and development. The Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Al Naimi, then gave a speech in which he highlighted the freedom and openness afforded to the press by the Kingdom's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty the King, adding that Kingdom's national press continue to exercise their journalistic duties professionally. Dr. Al Naimi noted His Royal Highness the Deputy King's commitment and support to the Kingdom's press and extended his gratitude to His Royal Highness for the event's patronage, noting the ceremony's importance in recognizing the media's constructive societal role. The winners of the Prime Minister's Press Award expressed their gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Deputy King for his continued support to the Kingdom's media professionals and for strengthening professional media standards across the Kingdom. Several senior officials, journalists and media professionals also attended the ceremony.
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, affirmed the success of integrating people with special needs, including students on the autism spectrum who are able to learn in public schools. This integration experience is among the most successful educational experiences in Bahrain and the first at the Gulf and Arab levels. The Ministry of Education's view of early intervention in providing integration seats for these students coincided with the, its strategic plan in providing all possibilities for the success of the experiment, including including qualified educational cadres, special classes designed according to international standards, and appropriate advanced educational programs. The Minister of Labor, Jamil bin Mohammed Al Hamaydan, met with the International Organization for Migration, IOM, Regional Director for Middle East and North Africa, Carmela Gudu, on the occasion of her visit to the Kingdom. He reviewed Bahrain's efforts to maintain stability of the labor market during the coronavirus pandemic and the initiatives carried out within the economic recovery plan. He stressed the Kingdom's keenness under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to protect rights and ensure commitment to international agreements and conventions. For her part, the IOM Regional Director praised the procedures undertaken by Bahrain during the pandemic to protect the rights of the labor force and fight discrimination. She also commended Bahrain's success to reach Tier 1 in the U.S. Department of State Trafficking in Persons Report. She lauded active partnership between the Kingdom and the IOM, stressing the organization's keenness on fostering technical cooperation with Bahrain. The activities of the 13th edition of the Royal Academy of Police's Summer Camp are launched, which is held in cooperation with Temkin and will start on the 19th of June until July 3rd. The Royal Academy of Police at the Ministry of Interior, in cooperation with Temkin, is organizing the annual summer camp in its 13th edition, which is one of the executive mechanisms that contribute to activating the initiatives of the National Plan to Enhance Belonging and Consolidate the Values of Citizenship in Bahrain. The main purpose of the summer camp is developing the mental and physical capabilities and harnessing the energies of the youth to bring positive impact to themselves and their community. An embodiment of the community partnership methodology and the keenness to value and improve these skills of the youth by qualifying them to deal with challenges effectively, this camp includes many programs and activities to develop youth talents for an environment that supports creativity and achievement within the national indicators of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Royal Academy of Police's annual summer camp is considered one of the executive mechanisms for optimal investment of youth energies and the formation of a generation with a constructive personality in our society to support the spirit of loyalty and national belonging. <laughs>